Hello, I have decided to try to do a full playthrough again of one of these uh, games, or at least a full recording. <coughs> oh, let me just remind myself which houses, except for these big ones, I still need. I can return log tents. Okay, uh, I'm still on a quest, I believe, to unlock the yeah second thinker, Karam. And I can, it looks like I can go to the flatlands this time to build fabric lanterns. Twelve of them, that's quite a lot. Okay, um, one moment please. Okay, sorry about that. I, um, my, my volume was a bit too lou loud on my computer. Okay, so let's try to do this. I haven't played very often yet in the Flatlands, so I'm not as well, not as familiar with, like, the, the, the beasts and stuff that are there. I've only gone to the edges once, the edge, the edges. I think it's called. So that's even less familiar to me. Let me first find the other villages. Uh, looks like I'm going everywhere except where they are. There's one in blue and blue and yellow. Um, maybe in the middle somewhere. Oh here. Uh, in black and black and pale yellow, I guess. Okay, and I am over. Oops. Uh, I'm over here. That's good. It's kind of far away from them already. I could go for this oasis, but it's, there's not a lot there. Maybe this one? Uh, it's a bit close to the flatheads, but I'll try it. <clears throat> I think this may have been the same spot I had last time, actually. I don't like that. Let's try a different one. I will go over this to this one then and just try to find some... It's also close to where I start. Maybe I'll start over here. And then I can expand to the oasis if I need to. Okay. So yeah, this map is... Uh, I, I don't really know, I don't really recognize it yet from... As in, I don't really know it well enough to recognize where on the map I am at any, at any given time. Let's see, none of these are among these aren't the ones that I still needed. I have a lot of reed and clay. I have infinite reed and clay with these ones, so I can always make sure. Maybe just do the simple square houses like this. Not good against rain, but it's the desert. I don't think there's a lot of rain, so that's fine. Uh, and I like the idea of being able to build them on top of each other. So let's. Oops, that's instantly a mistake. Let's build a couple here in a row. And then like this. Let's see if we can make that work. Uh, let's start with a snail beckon. That will be a way to defend myself if I don't find any other any any war techs, any combat techs. I should have gone for the food first. Oh well. Don't want to cancel it now. So where is the closest one again? They are a bit somewhere in the middle. Oh here. Oh no wait, that's more flatheads. Here they are. Okay. Aha! Ceramics Crafter. I haven't done that very often. I think it's actually new. I just unlocked it, I think. Uh, I haven't really... I've chosen these before, but I haven't really made use of them yet. Still, I'm gonna do this for now. Uh, go for this. Uh, bamboo and clay. I don't have a lot of bamboo, but I can probably just get away with making one... Uh, one of these. However... Oh, it's an attachment, I see. Hmm. Wait, do you... Did these guys allow an attachment? They should do, right? Yeah. Oh, well, I'll see in a moment. Fishing tower. I mean, there's water over there. I could maybe do it. There's not a lot of crop row. There's not a lot of flooding. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna expand over here. And make a make my fishing tower, in that area, for food. Send someone there right away. Mm -hmm. 
So these guys, they destroy a lot of things in their path, but I haven't seen them be aggressive yet. The uh, trudgers. But I haven't dared attack one yet either. Or like try to try to tame one. I'm not even sure if it's possible with these beasts. I think you I think you probably can, but again I haven't tried it. Let's get this let's get this food set up here quickly. Let's do it on the uh you know, not on the grass, so that I can keep the grass if I ever need it for something else. Okay. I wonder how they behave around this sort of map edge here, this whole area, which is sort of technically already the map edge, even though but you can just go there a bit. It looks like they just do make use of it. Okay, no food, I know. Working on it here, or at least we should be. Send someone over. So yeah, I, okay. He's going for, wait, isn't that outside my, area? Oh no, it was inside, okay. Oh dear. I see, that's the first time I've noticed that the wind effect actually doing something. Uh, did they cancel the... Uh... It looks like they did, yeah. Let's try that again then. All right, good. I think I want a third one, actually. I guess I'll use a bit of the grass here. Or, uh, but uh, that's fine, like this. Very good. I haven't even tried a fishing tower in the desert before. I'm guessing it works from the water. Yeah, otherwise, why would we be able to, be able to place it here, right? Let's see. Nice glow here. <laughs> Should probably be going for more inspirations, but I'll, I'll do that in a moment. Yeah, good. They are getting food. Alright, let's see if there's any inspiration nearby. You know, it might be nice if, if the color, for example, or some if somehow this was indicated whether it was, you know, whether it's sort of claimed by another village, like whether they would get angry or not if you, if you went for it. Um, because as it happens, sometimes you sort of have to guess whether something is too close to them to... to to get it without taking a diplomacy hit. A reputation hit. Oh, it's, what's the word I'm looking for? A um, relationship hit. Okay, that who sound probably means that, yep, yeah, they're, they're angry with, they don't like that. I'll leave it be then. I don't know if, I, if I've already taken the hit now. Probably not. Probably only happens when I finish it. But yeah, so that's, I, I didn't, I couldn't tell that from just looking at the thing. And, you know, they do come for you. I don't know if my, my thinker can actually fight. I don't think so. No. Not this one. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, the Akiot and the Garam. So this is the... Uh, Garam over here. They have these ones that I want, the log tents, but I didn't get them yet. And then here is the Akiot. Okay. They have a temple, which is very interesting, and some priests. I've seen those on the... Um, whatchamacallit? You guys getting food, by the way? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're getting... Wait, what does that sound? That's, that's a house built, I guess. I, I knew that it wasn't the sound from uh, a new brave being born. Uh, I forgot what I was saying. Um, 
Oh yeah, I've seen the priests on the uh, the icebreakers for these nomad camps that randomly spawn on them, but not, you know, not for not from an, a village in the actual area like this. And I certainly haven't had the chance to get them myself. Okay, well, that's so much for that thinker. <laughs> and that was the tough thinker as well, right? Accute. Oh well. Don't mess with the flatheads, I guess. Probably there are some ways to make the the AI thinkers a little bit smarter and not have that issue as much. I want to try piling some of these houses. I haven't done it before. Wait. I want this one to go like this, then I can place another one over here when this one's done. Alright, we're still I'm not really growing yet. Why is this one? Oh, I still need the food. Okay. So why is this one red and and earlier it was just white? Maybe because this is also red. It's there's nothing around. I guess that's what it's trying to indicate. Although of course in this case it's because they're already carrying some of them. So maybe it shouldn't go turn red if that's the case. Anyway. Finally growing, it seems. Go on, get in there. Hmm. Okay. So, we only have the Garam left to worry about, in terms of actual thinkers, anyway. I don't know, of course, this is still a camp that is active in principle. What are they doing here? Paddies and reed fields thatched firehouses, which I think I also haven't had, haven't gotten yet. Okay, there's, a, there's some some sort of alarm. Oh, oh dear. Oh yeah, okay, so house fire could be trouble when I build like this. <laughs> okay, I really want these jugs then. I'm a bit late with that. I also don't seem to be able to attach here. I'm not sure why. I mean, maybe... I mean, now you would, it sort of would make sense with the houses houses on fire like this, but... Oh, here. Interesting, but that's where... Oh, does it have to be behind it ex exactly? It looks like it might have to be behind it. Let's make a separate house here for the for ceramics. This wasn't as bad as I thought. I, oh yeah, I remember, they are actually clay. They're good against fire, right? Okay, that's cool. Okay, let's not build any more for now. I've got plenty of houses, not just not enough growth. So if they're building rather than inhabiting the houses, it's going to take too long. Of course, I'm still building a couple over here. I'm out of clay as well. I should I should get a clay pit. Uh, I always forget where, what sort of ground it can go on. This should work. Reed is also running kind of low. So I'll put one of those over there. I guess reed goes on dry grass and clay goes on mud. Makes sense, I suppose. Like with like and all that. Patty. It's kind of interesting how they sort of claim new areas like this with resource mm -hmm. totems and then build sort of away from their original location, in this case they're sort of building toward me. Aha, hmm. uh -huh. so it's, the trader doesn't always come on the same beast, right? In this, in this map it comes on a Mastodon. I think it was on a walker in the, uh, in the first map, I forget what his name, what it's, what it's called. Probably they'll visit the Garam tribe first. I wonder, does it still go to the, the Nomad tribe even though the Thinker is dead? I guess there's no mu not much point to it because it's the Thinker that has to trade with it. But I don't know if the trader knows. Would be cool to see, I guess. Now I wonder if the trader actually, the Thinker actually goes to trade with it as well. It's thinking about houses and trees.
What is that? Lasso? Or like a rope? Or was it an animal? Okay, it looks like it's not trading, at least not right now. Maybe it just doesn't, it doesn't need anything. I really want to figure out what all of these speech... Well, it's not really speech balloons, but like these little these little speech labels uh, mean. That means, I guess, that I'm taking it to, a house, to the house. That makes sense. This is a festival symbol, I believe. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm at 10, 10 people now. Maybe wait for a couple more to spawn and then do the snail snail festival. Um, and at that point, maybe I'll try to go for this one after all and just be a bit more aggressive about the inspirations. I can I can once I get that one, I can defend the other ones with my fighters. I didn't see any. Um, Equipment boxes, I think, in this map. At least not. They didn't stand out to me yet. Oh, I should also be on the lookout for like dye pots, of course. Oh, no, that's not. That's not. I thought I saw equipment for a second. Dye pots, because of course I want to unlock all the colors. Okay, here goes the thinker. I mean the trader. Sort of not coming toward me. <coughs> Um, but yeah, I, I don't know if there's a specific place for dye pots to spawn. If it's, I think the last, I only found one so far, and it was kind of close to an enemy village. I, I should, I shouldn't say enemy. They're not always enemies, of course, but like a, an AI village. And uh, oh, let's go for it. I keep saying no food, but oh, I'm under attack. I shouldn't have got rid of that message yet. Over here? Am I people around here? Oh, they were. That was one of them, yeah. I'm not sure what he went to do over there. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, so an AI village. I'm not sure if the die pots are always near AI villages or if that was just an accident, a, a coincidence the first time. But I'm not seeing any so far. Let me check around the villages a bit more carefully. Oh, there is equipment over here. Archer gear. Oh dear, they're still having trouble with these flatheads. Um, no die pod, it seems. Not around here. Or I'm, I might be missing it. It was it was kind of small, but I don't think I uh, I don't think there are any. So where were where were those archers? Let's see. It was near this village. Sort of behind it here somewhere. Yeah, here. Okay, I can probably try to sneak in and get get it with one people, with one of my people. Okay, go. Also, why are you guys not getting the food over here? Oh, and I think I sent it from the other. Yeah, this is why I would like to be able to select idle uh, braves specifically. There was one idle at the time. Yeah, I already talked about that. I do think that would be a really big improvement, though. That's that's. Uh, I would prioritize that if I were if I were the developer. But that's just me. Okay. I love getting getting up close and just getting the feel for the. The village life, you know. So I think the archers, if you send them somewhere, they just count as idle. And they go back after a while. Unless I think, I saw, yeah, G for hold ground. Uh, I saw that in the uh, in the positions earlier. But if you click them, like the, the, the thinker, then he follows the thinker around and... It's very useful, I found. I really like that. They don't end up going back to the, uh, the campfire. But yeah, it's good to know that G also works for that. And the, so, so this is the symbol for when they when they are holding ground. Oh, why did it go to this that same symbol the second time? Anyway, the other one is when they. Uh, 
can go back. Okay, combat. What are you doing over here, mate? Why are you all the way over there? I wonder what they're trying to do over there. It's not like... I don't know. Let's try to win this. It looks like he, he, he's hitting my, my people so far with the arrows. <laughs> That's not great. I've noticed that before. You have to be quite careful how to use the, arrow, the archers. But if you have a bunch of ar archers against just mostly enemies, they really can do quite a bit, I have found. Anyway. Yeah, again, I can't select like that. Trader arrived. Okay, he's still wandering around here. Or is it, is it a new arrival? I'm not sure. Okay, anyway, I can do the festival. I have a lot of people now. Let's do it. Hey, why can I not... Why can I not build on top of these now? Oh. Okay, there it's possible. But not over here. That's odd. Anyway, let's watch the snail festival. Yay! This time it says snail tamed successfully instead of snail uh, festival cancelled like previously. Um, which one do I want? I think I want the beast war rig. Um, I can put my archer on there. Technically, I think I can do that with the other one as well, but I'm probably going to get uh, warriors and I'm... it'd be nice to be able to put those on there as well. What are you doing? He's still shooting at the snail. That's probably something to fix as well. I did notice that if you have a lot of archers and you do the, the snail beckon festival, the snail just dies. <laughs> These guys don't, uh, don't, go, don't do taming, I guess. I think that might be true for all warrior types. Except for Beastmasters, of course. Um, I think I want to go for Bonfire first, and then go for Fabric Lanterns later. Yeah. It's going to be okay, because now I'm going to go for... Uh, well, I'll wait for the War Rig to be done. Oh, there goes the Garam as well. Yep, again the Flatheads. Oh dear. Flathead even is trying to attack the trader here. Who just ignores ignores this. Um, oh, he was pushed actually. I wonder if the trader could die like this. Oh, there we go again. For some reason, my people keep going over here. Of course, it's going to be war before long if I'm going for the inspirations, probably. All right, at least the trader is coming to me now. What do I want? Um, logs would be quite quite good to get. I always want more logs in the desert, I think. And I can get infinitely... Uh, these first three resources I can get infinite amounts of, so I'm just going to trade some of those for my... Um, I also, same with ceramics, by the way, which I wish might be more valuable. Oh, go for it. So let's see. Um, I want logs. I will give you some ceramics. Wait, what? Blanks? I can't. I don't have blanks. Okay, let me check if this does the same amount as just say food. Yeah, it doesn't look like ceramics are actually more valuable. All right, in that case, I'll probably do something like this. Uh, I don't really know how to. There you go. That works out quite well. And let's put it all on the table right over there. And let's make sure we have enough people to work on it. It's really fun. I like that it works. I've, I've already done it pre previously and it worked great. Okay, so the snail rig, the warrior, what is it called? The beast war rig is done. So let's put my archer on there. Is it called an archer? Yes, it is. And I guess just take it over there and send a thinker there as well. Or does a thinker need to be here for the trade? I don't think so, right? I think it just sets, starts the trade off. 
Now I would like to take my idle ones and send them with Sana over there. I'm worried if I just take five, I'll pull away from this other work that I do want to continue. But oh well. Okay, there's just a thunderstorm at the minute. They're not currently coming for me yet. I didn't hear the the alarm sound. So I think we're good for now. Uh, ooh, Bowyer produces archers from bamboo in a house attachment. Oh yeah, I unlocked the attachment ones. Uh, so bamboo. I don't actually have that much bamboo. I'd rather use something... use clay. And I kind of want melee warriors anyway. Alright, so you, go, you guys go over go over there again. You too. And let's see how this... Okay, so yeah, these are weak against rain, so... That's painful. Okay, it needs two more food on that on there. Ah, for the jugs, they're using them. I like I like that. The trader doesn't seem particularly bothered. Oh, the, the snail fixed it. Very good, very good. Okay, uh, pl guys, please keep keep working on this. Put food on there. There you go. One more. Probably already off to get some. Yeah, there comes a fish. There comes a fish now. I wonder if the trader gets impatient at some point and just gives up. It has been taking me a while. There you go. There's the wood. <laughs> Excellent. It's just piled up like that. All right, the trader's going again. Good. Okay. Uh, let's do the bonfire. Uh, actually, let's just build this barracks. I want that done first, just to be safe for any attacks or anything else. If there's like flatheads coming for me like they did for the other teams, although they don't seem to be as close to me anymore. I think they were over here previously. Yeah, I, I'd I like to be ready for that. So, And then I'll do festivals after that and just finish the game. A lot of clay here. Uh, do I still have the clay pit? Yeah, it's still active. In other games I've noticed at some point, in, on occasion, they're just gone after a while. I uh, did that... Oh no, it was just sort of... I think this guy just sort of caught, caught it in midair. <laughs> That's what it looked like. I might be mistaken. Let me just see if that is indeed... Yeah, that is indeed how that works. Build more houses, yeah, oh, of course, yeah, I should, I should indeed do that. Can I do this yet? No, I still can't put anything on top of here. You're supposed to be able to do that, right? I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, it's done over here, so... All right, I'll just make some more houses over here then. And a few more over here. Okay. One more clay. I wonder why it's already saying no clay when it says 10 over here. Maybe because everything is being transported again, but it doesn't look like 10 of them are being carried at the minute. I think these logs are just disappearing because I don't have storage or a way to use them. Oh well. Maybe it says no clay because it already calculated that I don't have enough to get all the house plans that I placed fully built. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, let's get some warriors, but also host a festival. I wonder if now, once the festival is done being hosted, uh, the they go back into the warrior, into the barracks, if they remember that previous task. I sort of doubt it, but we'll see. Yeah, the log just disappeared. Oh, well, I, I guess this guy can consider it a gift. Does look like a good time, doesn't it? There's the bamboo. 
No, indeed they are not going into the barracks. So let's send them send five in again. And let's see if I can get some more inspirations around the map. There's one over here. Let's send all my fighting people with me for now. You can't shift order some someone, right? No. Can you shift G? It looks like that does work. He is standing guard there. That's good to know. At least I can do that. So I can like tell them to go there and then shift G. So when, when they get there, they hold position. That's good. It would be nice if you could also queue other sort of, sorts of uh, orders. Although I suppose it's not really the sort of game where that micromanagement of units is very you know, prevalent, very important. Storage could be good, then I can actually trade. And this one didn't work for me f before because I never know how to get these coconuts. On, on occasion, one will drop from a tree, and they'll they might they don't seem to bring it over themselves. So I tend to, you know, make them put it there manually. But then after a while, it just disappears before I have the time to find the other ones. So maybe I might be doing something wrong with that. But so far, I haven't made it work, been able to make it work. Let's just make some storage so that I can trade in the future. Uh, it looks like it doesn't really matter in which direction I'll face it. Put it over there. Oh, here, go for the festival. You can be free, mate. Uh, I'm pressing G again to try to set, it, set him free, but oh, there you go. I don't think you can even use G on a snail. Oh well. All right, now to be safe, and just in case I can't find enough inspirations anymore this time, I will take the fabric lanterns. I need to make, build 12 of them, so that probably will take me a while anyway. The wind is coming through my town, it looks okay. Oh dear, that doesn't look okay. Okay, it's in the water. Does it get stuck down there? And if so, is that a bug? Yeah, it looks like he's stuck in there. That, uh, probably you could consider that a bug, <laughs> or at least you know you would you would hope the AI could avoid that, or maybe be able to clamber out or something. All right, um, let's start building these lanterns. They have to be away from each other, I guess. Yeah. What do they cost? Fabric. Oh dear, I don't know if, I don't know if I have any any fabric yet. Any source of fabric. I guess I could get some from the trader if it, if he comes back. But it would be good if I could find a technology for fabric still. I haven't counted how many I've placed. Four, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Oops. Yeah, there's not going to be more room than that. 10, 11, 12. I'm just going to pl place them all. Treasure arrived. Okay. So, uh, I think... I don't remember. I think that's the sort of thing where... A sort of inspiration that can help you get other resources. Oh, there's also these ones from, from the enemy. Let's just try to do that. I'll get a couple more warriors, send them all with... Actually, I want even more than that. Send everyone here. Oh yeah, I remember actually that the snail d does stay where you put him. Okay. These houses are mostly built. Uh, the clay is still there, so they should be able to build the rest of it later. I'm going to try to just claim these inspirations from their villages. They're not going to let me, so I will have to fight whatever remains of those villages, I think. Is the flathead still in there? Yes, he is. Trudger is just passing by. Is he going to destroy all these beautiful resources? Yeah, that's a shame. Oh well. 
Maybe I should try to tame this this dude. I've never tried it. I should just totally do it. This could be dangerous. Alright. I'm at 23 Braves. They're making good progress, to be honest. Very good progress. I killed a bunch of them. Nice! I have one! That's so cool. Are these the ones where you can build on top of them? It doesn't look like it, based on the way it looks. At least, uh, is he still killing my people just by walking here? Also, what am I getting here? Oh, a beast saddle, of course. Can I put that on this one? No, I think these beasts are way too big for that. I ask, there's a bit of chaos everywhere. Um, it looks like things are okay. I mean, there's gonna be collapse from the rain. I'm sure my people will figure it out. Oh, cool. Get out of the way. Okay, the figure's over there. We're all right. All right, treasure. Why is it still showing this progress bar here? Hmm. Um, my archer. No, wait, my archers. Oh, what? Now what? Oh, this. Oh, the fire might spread to these trees. Oh! Actually. You guys go over there, try to get this guy. Try to tame him. And these one, this one will just be killed. Alright, we got a flathead. And the other one died. Maybe I should have tried to tame them both. Oh well. Okay, well there's a lot of uh, things. I've, I've lost a lot of braves. Okay, there's no more beast technologies, so I'll get a passive. No bridles, control snail spits. I've I've seen that. I haven't tried it yet. I've also not tried this one since. Actually, I don't think I've taken any of these. I haven't gotten a lot of passive technologies yet. Uh, but I'll do the snail bridles because they're new. I haven't actually seen them in a game ever. So you have to. Uh, it's a passive, right? I thought it would show up on this side. Okay, but you can see that it's a passive because it doesn't have a border around it. I guess so. You can't. It's not really a selectable thing. So now if I go to my snail, how do I do this? Uh, it looks like it's, it's, uh, oh, the archer is, uh, I gave him some other task, I guess, at some point. Uh, oh, spit. I see. Oh, that's cool. So now, and now it became mud. Can I do it again and make it into, oh, careful, into like proper fertile soil? It doesn't look like it. Maybe if I do it on top of dry grass, once there's no one in the way there. Yeah, that's quite good. That's really nice if you have like uh, corn, corn rows or something. All right. Oh yeah, I was trying to find a way to get fabric, wasn't I? Uh, yeah, let's get the feast. So let's try to get those uh, those ones again. I send my people with me. Oh, oops! I did it again with the with the snail, with the archer. So let's get my beasts over here. It's gonna take the treasure a while, I think, to get there. Flathead. Oh, I can of course build a beast saddle on the flathead. Or this war rig again. I think I like that better. By the way, I should also put one more. Oh! Did my archer just die? I think the treasure just basically killed it. Killed him. I have to be careful with this guy. Anyway, I'm gonna try to set two warriors on this war rig. And once this is built, two on there as well. And you try to get out of the way a bit. Maybe I send in the treasurer on his own to attack this these people. See how that goes down. Wait, what's happening? Oh, he's, he's starting to attack these log tents instead. Treasure, go on. Uh, 
I guess in the meantime, back home, they can build a, a feast. Oh, here comes another treasure. Now, oh, why is the feast not being placed there? There, then. Pardon me. Yep, that's another death. Let's try to get this treasure as well. See if they can make it. Now, try again to send this one in here. Okay, I'm down to f ooh, I'm down to five braves. All right, get out of there. Get out, get out, get out. I don't want to lose all my braves. Go in there. Try to get more braves again. All right, that was a bad idea. Yeah, the treasure is not going again. Um, it seems a bit finicky to make him. I got you selected. Treasure. Go. Okay, yeah, the, yeah. It looks like 15 braves might not be enough to take a treasure down. Or to tame it. Or maybe I just got unlucky or something. Okay, now he is there. Here. Treasure. Try to attack. Maybe this is not really meant to be uh, an aggressive creature, and rather... It looks like he's stamping them, but also looks like nothing is happening. Maybe he's more meant for, like, I don't know, transporting people? Well, never mind. That actually went really well. Alright then, you can go over to this town next, see how you can manage around there. And then I'll send my thinker over here with these two. Oh, the treasure is not going again. Maybe through there. Having trouble pathing over here, maybe. Even though he, has, he isn't able to step up the high ground like the walker can. Okay, um, Flathead, where are you? Where are you at? What if I send you to attack this guy? Nice. That works quite well. Alright, go get the inspiration. Come on, treasure. So yeah, the treasure always seems to stop a little bit a little bit, bit short of where you send it, which is a bit um, frustrating sometimes. But I'm starting to figure it out, maybe. Alright, what do we got here? I want something that gives me fab fabric. This guy's gift. <laughs> wow. Uh, I don't have blast powder. But that is really cool. <laughs> I just picked it because I really want to try it, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to it unless I get blast powder from from a trader or something. I guess get this one over here while you're nearby. Uh, I'll send this guy over there. You as well. Okay, the treasure is, is approaching now. Let's see what he can do over here. Uh, I don't think I want any of these. I'll get the ladder to be safe if I ever need to get up somewhere. Uh, there was more over here, yes. Let's get these guys over here. Shift G, I think that works. And my thinker will get this inspiration. And I'll go over to my treasure to see what's going on here. Okay, he's ready. Go. What are these, by the way? Oh, these are the priests. Okay, go on, move. Seems like he's thinking about it, a little bit shuffling with his paws, but not really going. There you go. No. See what I mean? I can't seem to get him to actually attack these people. 
Oh, there you go. Yes, no. How about if I send you even farther? Yes, that seems to have done the trick, but it's kind of weird that I have to click all the way over here for it to make this tiny step over here. And also that these guys aren't reacting at all. They should probably be attacking or something. Even if they are fingerless. Come on. Oh, they did something then. Yeah, it's not that's not really it's not very easy to use. Oh well. What do we got here? Yes, they did stay stand guard here. Silk, that's what I needed. So let's get the loom. Build one or two or something. On oh oops. On these houses here. Let's make it three. Um, have I got some more graves again? Yeah, a couple. Not, still not very many. Uh, I kind of want to send them in the houses. Oops. Oh, the... You, what are you doing here? Uh, just go in... Go into one of these houses, mate. Alright, looks like the idols are going, so I might be selecting the idols first, but not that time. How about you? Can you can I select you? I can't even select this one. Uh that seems like another bug. Maybe to do with the stacking of these houses, which also I wasn't able to do anymore over here. Maybe because of the fire that was here first, or like they collapsed previously with the water, maybe the bottom one collapsed or something like that, and then when they're rebuilt, they don't properly restore restore the pathing for being able to build up here or something. And that might be why that guy got stuck, even though now it looks like he did end up going into this house in, in the end. Can I select him again? Yes, I can. Can't send him off, though. Is he stuck up here? Are you supposed to combine this with ladders or something? Uh, doesn't look like it, no. And also, how would they be able to build... Actually, building they can always do from a distance, right? If they can't reach. So I, I just don't know what's going on, but it looks like something is not quite working, working here. Anyway, I've got Loom now. Let's see if I can uh, attack this last. Maybe these guys will have a better... Uh, will have more, more luck. Oh yeah, again, I, do, I can't tell that I've got them selected when they're beasts on the cursor. But it looks like I did send them. Alright, good. The looms are going. Uh, how many? I'm still, I'm still on six sprays. No food. Oh, the food got destroyed. Well, that explains a lot. Oh, also the uh, claim land. Okay. Then I get it. Um, flat. Wait, is my people, my treasure still there? I kind of want you to go now. Oh, I didn't hold ground for those guys correctly. Uh, the treasure is just stuck in there. I think he's having trouble with the pathing through this building or something. All right. Well, hopefully nothing will go wrong here if I send my flathead in now. Love it. Again, these guys should be reacting, to be honest. They shouldn't just be partying over there. It's kind of weird. Oh well, makes this very easy for me. Is everything and uh, not all of them are gone one of them is under oh. underneath the treasure let's see what happens when I try to attack that one no oh, he just goes underneath it that's kind of cool all right looks like th that 
tribe is gone as well. I can freely get all the inspirations now, I think. Ooh, a temple. That's the priest. I've never seen it before. Converts other units to our side. He's just laid, of course. I could have been able... I could have taken those buildings, maybe. I mean, those uh, units. Is it an attachment? No, it's not. At least it seems too big for that to be an attachment. Like this, maybe. Okay, yeah, I need to make these fishing towers again. Okay, um, actually, guy, don't go away yet. Get all of these other inspirations while you're at it. Still on six braves, but I'm, I should be getting the food now. And you guys can go home. There's a couple of random warriors stranded here and there. Let's make sure all of them go with the thinker here. There you go. Uh, how many have built? Only one landmark so far. I'm gonna have to... This is also silk. Might as well. Uh, that needs to be on uh, mud, if I recall. Yes. So what are we missing here? Bamboo? No, we have plenty of bamboo. Oh, they're coming already. See if all my warriors are over here. Oh, oops. Went a bit too fast there. Oh, of course. There's still one on here. Yeah, it might be. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the best way to do deal with that is. I guess it's okay. I guess it should just stop trying after a while because otherwise it just keeps glitching on top of the war rig like so. Um, and then once you finally send them off, he goes to do a long-forgotten order from ages ago. But that's not exactly ideal. <sighs> okay, we're getting food, yes. Are you guys coming to get it as well? I feel like my, my braves are a little bit... Yeah, these are still producing braves. Actually, these are producing looms, aren't they? No, still braves. This, this loom wasn't built yet. Um, where are my other braves? This, I guess I have, oops, right click. Okay, two are on the food. One is on here, one is on here. Yeah, so these still count. So I'm actually on very low. Wait, is one in here? Well, I'm not sure where that brought me for that one. And then there's one over here. Okay, it looks like we are getting new, new ones finally. Producing silk. Don't do that. Where are you? Oh, what? I don't actually have one selected. I'm not sure why that was fla flashing red. This one is making smoke as well. Oh yeah, see there was one in here who still can't get off and also can't go get his food I guess. So this is also yeah, kind of a lost one, a lost soul. Um, however, this one should be able to. Yes, finally, a new, bra a new brave. Now make sure you go into a, a house that is accessible. There you go. And I'll get food after a while. Anyway, what what else can I get in the meantime? I think I haven't had mud ar mud arches yet. So this ends up, so I, I I decide to do a full recording and it just ends up being an extremely long video, but I'll just always, um, like I used to do, I'll, I'll put the, um, oh, that's cool, What's, what am I trying to say? I'll put the time codes to, to the points that are relevant to the development of the game in the description as usual, with like suggestions and potential bugs and whatnot. 
Uh, yeah, I would really like to get this brave back, but it looks like I can't. Maybe maybe by killing this flathead or something, but that's that goes a bit too far for me. How's this going? They still need they still need food. I think they go out at like at some percentage they they go out to look for the food, right? Or only at the very end? I don't think it's at the very end. Maybe seventy five. Nope. Let's see how this goes. So yeah, trying to capture that second um, trudger was a bad idea, I think. Oh, he's going to get food now. So it, it, this time he only did it at the very end. I don't think it's always like that though. Ah, the second landmark. Alright, it looks like things are starting to happen again at some point. Or it will start, will, will start to happen again. Honestly, I don't really want you to be building yet. Um, go, yeah, exactly. Go create new braves. See if there's anyone doing something they shouldn't be. No, not at the moment. Oh, yeah, this one. We don't need. We didn't. No, we don't need more ceramic for now, guy. Go over there. Okay. I've had all of these before. I don't know. Get the shadow for fires. Go over there. Even though I already have the ceramic jugs for fires. There you go. No clay. Yeah, there's still a clay pit, so someone will go work it, I'm guessing. At least I'm getting a lot of technologies this game, including some that I haven't seen before, or at least not used before. Windmill. Pretty sure I haven't taken that since coming back to the game. Actually, I'm entirely sure. It's rather expensive though, let's not do it yet. I'm also still building this church and all the landmarks. I don't know if you have to build it or just select it in order to sort of unlock its information in the in the archives. Let, let me not build the windmill and then check it afterward to see if I can work that out. There's another uh, combat one over there as well. Rain collector. Just because I noticed it earlier and it looked so nice. Oh. I didn't want to go back there. Wait, where did it go? Oh, here. Okay, I, I was going 11 braves now. Good. We're starting to um, sort of, you know, we're out of the out of the hump now. So it looks like there's someone in here as well as outside. So someone managed to get up here to get inside. But again, I can't send them down. And I think I still can't build new stuff up here either. No. I can do it up here. Like with the overhang. It seems like a bad idea though. Unless maybe it resets like the pathing or something. I'll just try it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Any more landmarks getting built yet? No, it looks like they're still doing other things. I really do need more braves to do all the various things that I have buildings for at the minute. Let's see what this is. Oh, hello. Spearsmith, swordsmith. I already have a barracks, so let's get a spearsmith. Spearman from bamboo in a house attachment from bamboo. I have a, quite a bit of bamboo still. Honestly, I shouldn't be getting a spearman attachment now, but... Actually, I really shouldn't get it, should I? Nah, I want to get it. I'm already not getting the windmill. Okay, what are you building here? Honestly, I should probably cancel these. No, I want to get... 
Mm -hmm. It looks like you can't separately dismantle the, the loom. It's left the entire house. Oh well. Oh, my thinker is back. Is there any more inspiration anywhere? Not that I can see from here. Let's move over the map. I think I might have gotten everything. All right, I've gone around the edges. Mostly. Let's go to the middle. Yeah, there's nothing more. Right, 14 Braves. Still on two landmarks. We are getting fabric. We are getting quite a bit of food again. Um, have I ever been, did I ever end up building the storage? It doesn't look like it. Uh, I don't know if it's a good idea to do it now. Let's just send a couple couple of people to do it quickly. Maybe they'll put the coconuts in there. That would be cool. Right, it needs clay. The clay is still being built. I can only do one clay pit though. Is that always the case now with this? It used, didn't used to be that way with the clay pit, but maybe that's... I'm not sure if that's because I rem remember, remembered it like this. Oh, I know that I could set, build more multiple reed fields. Uh, looks like I got rid of one. Yeah, I can still build multiple of those, so it's, it must be a change to the clay pit. There goes the Leviathan. Yeah, I guess it's it's that stage of the game at this point. I'm on the ante of eight. Honestly, oh no, I I almost wanted to go and try to tame this guy. It does work, right? Or maybe not. Oh, you can't even seem to tame it per se. But yeah, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have known what to do with it anyway. Once I got it, it's like move random bits of land around. <laughs> but yeah. No, it looks like that's not... There you go. That's not quite possible, but it probably would have been a bad idea anyway. Because I would just lose all my braves again. So I wouldn't have I wouldn't have gone for it. Don't worry. I need one more food for the feast. Um, guys, you can... Oh. Wait, why can't I not select the, the warriors now? That's odd. I can still select them like this though. I wanted to say, go do your own thing again. You don't need to keep hanging around the thinker. Are they, are they still doing it? Yeah, they are. Guys, you're free. Oh, no, these guys are now holding position here. How do I cancel? Oh, there you go. Now this one is free. There you go. I don't know why sometimes it doesn't release them when I hit G and sometimes it does. But anyway, I managed in the end. Oh dear, he's coming to me. Do we still have the flat hat in here, by the way? No, he, he disappeared. Oh no, there he is in this corner. Yeah. It would be funny if the, if the Leviathan the crustacean, oh here it's called a crustacean, uh, if it would settle in here, remove the, the pool and set free the flathead as well. Okay, well there you go. There, go, there goes my food production again. I'm going to have to rebuild that one when this guy leaves. Um, okay. I can still select. Can I select the warriors again? No, I still can't. So there's something wrong with the selection thing as well. All right, there we go. Beautiful. Let's get the. Uh, where, what are we doing with here? The fishing towers back. Oh, claim land first. I wonder if I have to. Since I have to reclaim every time, I I, I keep upping the ante like this. That seems quite likely, to be honest. Get out of the way of this treasure, guys. If you can access it, yeah, that's a big if, isn't it? Okay. 
this one seems to be able to path through my buildings just fine. Thankfully it doesn't destroy them though. Ah, oh, man. Get out of the way. I'm trying to send you into this house. The outline is a bit finicky. Okay. I feel like if the games last too long... Hey, it's Beerman. Didn't even mean to make, make those yet. They're, oh, they're probably produced like like a normal unit would be. But guys, I don't want to make any more spearmen now. I want to keep the Braves. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? Like, yeah, if, as the game goes on longer, the sort of you sort of start to notice more issues. I guess it's, it makes sense because the testing would... Oh, nice. Uh, this one actually grew into a tree. <laughs> That's also good. The coconut that was over here. Um, but yeah, that makes sense because the play testing would, of course, be more frequent. Would happen more in the uh, earlier stages of the game. What's going to happen to this guy? Is he going to just disappear at the edge? Oh, he's turning. Okay. Inspiration renewal. I'll send him there after the feast. The thinker. Okay. Excellent. Which also, I believe that allows you know, the, the, re the requirements of buildings to be fulfilled once. So maybe that means I can get Braves more easily now, because all the food will be... Yeah, you see, none of these re need food anymore. So just send the Brave into this one, for example. Oh, that was this one, which can't get there, actually. And now, again, I can't select him. Mm, there's already someone in there. Uh, someone going into this one. There you go, I already did. Yeah, doop -doop -doop. I'm getting a lot of braves now. That's good. Alright, hopefully that means I can finally um, get this other, this final festival sorted. And get all of these last landmarks build, built. They're, they're called fabric lanterns, yeah. Oh, oh right, I need I need the fishing towers again now that this thing is built. Let's do four. Well, presumably they'll go for it on their own. And yeah, we're doing this. This is good. That will allow me to build the, the landmarks now. I think we're hurt. Maybe it was a bit uh, amb ambitious to send out on its own. Let's get the palm orchard, just uh, just in case they do store the uh, coconuts in here at some point. Does someone need to be in here? They put a lot of fabric in here. What? What's happening in there? Hmm. And these guys take only fabric, right? Uh, I'm sorry, what, what am I looking for? Oh, it, oh, a lot of these are just removed. A lot of these build sites. Right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And yes, they only take one fabric, so this should go quickly now, I think. Four idlers, so you would think that means every every of the every one of these lanterns is already getting someone to work on them. Oh, a temple is being built. I have no logs. Ah, uh, that okay. Let's let's claim this land here where there's a bunch of trees. Especially now that the logs can be put. In here, presumably, unless this is like the max that it can hold. Does it say something about how much how much storage there is? 
How much how much it can hold? It doesn't look like it. At least not there. I was I also always think about this trunk wood, but I don't know if I can actually take it down. Maybe I need a special technology for that or something. No logs, I know. Resource totem. Landmarks. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Yeah, they're getting the logs. Well, it would have been kind of cool to leave it unfinished, and then I could have checked uh, something built, like this the spear. Uh, what is it called? Um, wait, what was it? Well, the spearman attachment. Uh, I don't even know where I, where that is. And something just unlocked. I mean, yeah, re learned but not built, like the windmill, and something started but not finished, like the temple. That would have been interesting. Maybe I can still finish the game before this is uh, done. Only one more landmark needed, which is this one. Go. We still have silk, right? Yes, we do. Okay. Yeah, looks like that'll be possible. If I hurry a little bit. Go! Excellent. Oh, these poor people, they can't make it here. Like, sort of missed it, but there's something happening with the lanterns. That was cool. Let's see, I got three fat karma from that, and then of course I tamed a bunch of guys, which is a lot of karma. Snail Beck and Bonfire Feast. So that is, what is that, nine? Yeah, pretty good, nine, nine karma. Okay. <laughs> uh, cool. I, oh yeah, now I see the Spearsmith, but I wasn't in my list there earlier. Oh well. Now let's have a look. It might be that the archive doesn't instantly update though, like when I bought stuff at the karma shop that didn't happen. But let's have a look. Combat for example. Yeah, the spearsmith is activated. Now in the protection, the windmill... Yes, it's also activated. So you don't even need to place it, you just need to learn it. And so that already tells me enough about the... Um, uh, I guess it's not under there. Uh, pass it? No. Where is my... Where is the church? Um, I, I would have thought it would be under combat. Maybe I'm missing it. No? Festival? There's not a festival. How odd. I didn't, I didn't get the, it's not called a church, a temple. Hmm. Maybe I'm blind and maybe I'm just missing it. Temple, temple, temple. Maybe it's because I was looking for the word church. Anyway, aside from that one, which is weird because that one, I, I at least I started building that one. The wind, windmill I didn't even start. Uh, I found the archers, did you like them? Wish to feast table. Yeah, I saw that one already. Uh, oh yeah, let's see what I can unlock now. The boats. Yeah, the boats seems like a good idea since I also unlocked the water map now. But let's first look at the rest. Oh yeah, the thick thatched house. I saw that earlier. Boosts the production. And this was the yeah the permaculture. I really want this. I love the idea of this. Uh, I think I can get all of these anyway. Let's get the boats boats for sure. And I still have enough for this one. Yes. And then I have two karma left over, so I might be able to get something else. Let's see what they refresh it with. Cloud Popper. <laughs> That's amazing. I could afford that. Beast Brewer as well. A mighty scented candle that attracts beasts as it burns. Also really interesting. And the awning. Okay. Uh, I like the Cloud Popper. I want, and this has to happen. And again, it's not shown here yet, right? Uh, that's a, that must be under protection, the Cloud Popper. Oh, this time it is shown here. Uh, it wasn't for the... Um, 
these houses earlier, as I showed. Interesting. I wonder why that is in the permaculture. Excellent! <laughs> well, thanks for watching, and I hope this was uh, enjoyable, even though it was probably it dragged on, on a bit in the end. But uh, yeah, I hope it was useful all the same, and have a good one.